Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to share a Mavic Pro trick with you that I've been using for a little while that you may not be aware of, but I think you're going to find really, really useful. It has to do with charging your Mavic Pro remote after you've been out in the field for an afternoon of flying. Now, I know a lot of us love to extend the flying day as long as we can, and we've picked up spare batteries so we can constantly swap those out and really fly that Mavic for quite a long time. And if you've got three or four batteries, you could fly it until the battery was drained, swap out the battery, take the depleted battery that just came out of the quad, let it cool down, put it on a car charger, and be charging that while you're enjoying flight with another battery. So effectively, you could fly almost indefinitely by swapping out those batteries through a charge cycle and then back into the quad. The one limiting factor though is the remote control. The remote fully charged will give you a couple of hours of use. That becomes a little more complicated when you're using an Android device because a lot of the models of Android devices, when you connect them up to this to use them, whether it be a phone or a tablet, they're going to see this as a power source and start charging themselves, which means they're draining power out of the remote, reducing the amount of time you can actually use it. There is a fix for this. So I've talked before about how there are two USB connections on the remote. There's one on the side, which is a micro USB, and that's got the short cable that connects up to a phone typically if they're in the grips. There's also a full-size USB on the bottom. Now, if you're using a tablet, you're probably using this USB on the bottom, connecting it up to your device, and you're running it that way, which means this micro USB on the side is wide open. And maybe you don't know this, but you can actually charge the remote through that while you're using the bottom remote for connection to your device. So I've shown you before that if you carry a battery bank with you, and I always carry one of these battery banks with me out in the field, I could very easily, when this thing gets close to low, I could actually connect it up to the micro USB connection on the side. And then the minute I plug it into this battery bank, you're going to see those on the front of this. You see how it turned on and it starts to charge? Now it's 100% now, so you're not going to see the strobing. But basically I'm charging this remote from the external battery. So effectively what I've done is in this case triple the amount of power that's available for this remote to run. So even if I'm charging an Android device, this is going to give me tremendously long flight times because I'm using both the internal battery and this external battery to supply the power I need for both of those devices. Now, what's interesting about this is that I carry this with me to charge my phone. Maybe I charge the remote with it. I've got this on, on site to charge whatever I happen to need through a USB. But I've also got a lot of Mavic batteries with me. Now, the challenge is the Mavic battery is first of all, it's a bigger battery than what's internal. This has got a 3830 milliampere hour rating on it. This one in here is a little smaller to 2970 milliampere hour. So it's pretty substantial for a smaller remote, but this guy's way bigger. The other challenge is that this is charged through a standard USB connection, which is typically five volts. This has got an 11.4 volt output on it. So there's no way I can plug this thing into my remote and charge it. The good news is that DJI and their infinite wisdom have come to our rescue once again, and they've produced this battery to power bank adapter. It's a small little brick. It's about 19 bucks and it fits on the end of the battery. So I can plug it on the end of my Mavic battery, connect up my USB to it, connect my other end to the remote. And once I make that connection, all I have to do is turn on the battery. The battery's off right now. Let me turn it on. The minute I turn that on, now providing power to the end connection here, which this little brick, this brilliant little brick, is converting from 11.4 volts to five volts, and you've actually got two full-size USB connections on the end that are two amps each. So it's gonna charge this remote while you're flying, and you can slide this in your pocket, or you can let it sit on a table or what happens to be near you as a flat surface, and you can fly this thing. Now, it's not the most elegant solution because you've got a cable dangling off the side, but it's still a lot better solution than having to end your day early. So I like that a lot. And one of the things I like to do too is I'll typically fly this till I get it down to one bar and then either connect it up to my battery bank or I'll use this guy. And I don't typically use a full Mavic battery because if it's sort of towards the end of the day, maybe I've got one that I'm not charging that's still got two bars on it because I've landed the quad and I don't want to take chances of running out of power. I'll take that somewhat depleted battery and use that one to charge this guy. If this were fully uh, charged all the way to the top, I could probably run this thing five or six hours between the two batteries that are in there. So having something that's 25% charge would give me an extra hour, hour and a half of flight time easily. And then I could take the next depleted battery and use that. So you can kind of switch between them as you need to, but this is an accessory that I keep with me all the time. I just feel like, you know, for 19 bucks, um, they've done a great job of converting the 11.4 volts that's in the battery down to the five volts here. And again, the nice thing is these are both two amp connections. So this will charge your phone, it'll charge your tablet, it'll charge any other device that uses a standard USB charger to charge it up. So you can find these on the DJI site. I'll put some links below to get to the site if you want to go there and buy them. If you go through our link, we'll get a little... Uh, a little bit of credit from DJI to do it, but you can go right to their site and buy them as well. But for me, this is something that I always carry in the kit because I'm, 
I'm constantly worrying when I'm out in the field that I won't have power for something, and this gives me the power I need using the batteries that I happen to have on hand. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Hopefully you find this helpful. I really appreciate you guys watching these clips as I say every time. It looks like our subscriber count is going up every day. A lot of great comments from you guys on the content we're putting together. I'm excited to do these clips, and if you guys keep watching them and we get good positive feedback from you guys, I'll keep making them. So thanks an awful lot for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It's always encouraging to see more people subscribing to the channel. Any questions, drop them below in the comments, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And until next time, happy flying. Thank you.